A grim reminder of my sad reality. The other nobles will be fine, I'm sure. They've all been to events like this before. But me? I'm a noble and I've never even been close to one of these things. Thank you so much! Yep. Motivation increased. Now out of curiosity. Um 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 a lot of stuff. Um 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 what I've been looking for this. Yay! Um, 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 why did you think this was mine? Um, 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 That's that, chat. Huh. Oh, now where did that Ingrid run off to? The ball is soon, and she hadn't even put on any makeup. I was trying to help her out. Uh, get rid of my monster, investigate old chapel, set his birthday. Oh, okay. That is birthday. Oh. I feel like I haven't done this in a while. Oh my. Who could use the strength? No strength food. Uh, oh, looks like the raft the raft could probably definitely use the strength boost. Oh, let me give that to Bernadette. Ooh. The unit deals with physical attacks. Oh. I think we're definitely going to give that to Ralph. A uh, Raph. This one? Uh, yep. Giant shell. This one's right too. Actually, we're going to give them both to Raph. Darn it. 
Yeah. And uh, I suppose we go ahead we should go ahead and talk great. with Manuel. Well, oh. But you know about the ball, yeah? Great. Just great. It's that time when all the students get all lovey dovey. You're new, but you know about the ball, yeah? I can't bear it. Young love is wasted on the young. They can't appreciate it to its fullest. Ugh. I wish I could fall in love too. Uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Anyways. Hi there. Professor, you know, Professor, I used to think I would be comfortable with all manner of experiments, so long as they provided usable results. But when I heard of Solon's work, well, who... Sorry, I'm not great with blood, even when I'm just thinking about it. I feel a bit ill now. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Sucks for you, man. Oh, it's Eloise. Ah, the ball. It reminds me of how I met my wife. I was at a village's harvest festival. There was a full moon bathing everything in its cool glow. She appeared out of nowhere, dancing gracefully in the moonlight. A lovely fairy. That story sounds fake. <laughs> well, the full moon thing was an embellishment, I admit. But you can forgive a man for waxing poetic, can't you? <laughs> anyway, we soon fell in love and tied the knot. Now we have a daughter who's as bright and beautiful as a sunny morning. So, whenever I see people dancing, I think of my wife, and my heart does a little waltz. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna be able to. Uh, oh, oh, right, Eloise and Cyril. I'm well, not quite there. Pardon me. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Other than the legend of the goddess tower, of course. Have you heard the students talking about it? Oh. On the last night of the ethereal moon, on the same night as the ball, if a man and a woman go to the goddess tower and make a wish, it's sure to come true. I have a wish, but I can't find anybody to make it with me. <laughs> Is there someone I feel that way about? I did say Bernadetta was best girl, though. Boom. Bernadetta comes to mind. Oh. Not quite out here. Professor. Yeah, sure. I suppose. Hello, Professor. You're really on the move today. A lot to get done, I take it? I'm happy to help. Uh, tell me, is there anything I can do to lighten your load a bit? Nothing comes to mind. Oh, surely there must be something. Uh, don't be shy about asking for help. We're practically siblings, after all. Cut from the same cloth. I was raised by Gerald just as you were. So we should have no trouble getting along. <laughs> you were raised by Gerald? Huh? <laughs> Did I not mention that? How thoughtless! What an embarrassing gaffe! My parents died when I was small, and I came to live in the monastery. It was an aimless existence. But sometimes, a knight would pass by, wearing magnificent armor. 
That knight was Geralt. And the first time he laid eyes on me, he made me his squire. What was he thinking, huh? Sounds like Geralt. <laughs> no kidding. I don't think I'll ever fully understand his logic. Later, no. I heard that the squire preceding me had died of a terrible plague. I looked a bit like him and was about the same age, so Gerald thought me a suitable replacement. A little nutty, old Gerald, there's no doubt about that. Uh... Quite a character. All that was more than 30 years ago. No time flies. 30 years? That's right. I wasn't even 15 years old. Well, Gerald hardly seems to have aged since then. In fact, over drinks he once told me, uh, <laughs> perhaps that's a story for another day. At any rate, <laughs> that's Gerald for oh. you. Come One on account. now. I want to hear I this. I don't think there's anyone else quite like him. Eh, probably. Right. Well, now you've heard my whole story. I hope that you understand now why I feel such a strong sense of attachment to you. If you're ever in a bind, just give me a holler. I'll help however I can. Thanks, Beatha, but I can handle myself. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, I'll uh, let you get back to it. But truly, if I can take anything off your plate, don't hesitate to let me know. of inviting a girl from a different house to the goddess tower on the night of the ball but here's the twist she's from a family with a much more significant and storied past than mine <sighs> i wonder if she'd ever stoop to going out with the humble son of a knight don't be afraid we'll be great work in that. Meyer village professor who would have ever guessed it was tomas ah but no now isn't the time to get lost in gloomy thoughts Mercedes locked me in her room for hours earlier. She was slathering pounds of makeup onto my face, saying something or other about the ball. It really wore me out. <laughs> Hi, Professor. I've actually got plans. Ah. Uh. I can't believe this. I'm so angry right now. First it's the Death Knight, and now Tomas, but neither of them are in custody. I can't stand the thought of such evil lurking in the world. We have to do something about this. I have to do something about this. I'm down, buddy. Hey, professor? You no? Know? I'm down. Seriously. Oh, hey, it's Gilbert. It cannot be true that our siblings in arms could turn against us, so... However... I will continue investigating members of the church. To think that even someone as senior as Tomas would fall under suspicion. I know not how far to take my search. At this point, even the students. Yes. A great many strange and terrible things have come to pass this year. I must not dismiss the possibility that someone among the students is behind it all. I have a request. I'm fond of woodcarving, but I lack the talent for it. I hear that those to the west of Fulton have mastered woodwork, and I'd like to learn their technique. I'm gonna put on woodcarving. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Right. The ball is coming up soon. I am so excited. I can't wait to fill up on food while everyone's dancing. I even heard there'll be some prime cuts of meat. Oh, that's right. That's right for you. Oh, it's Leonie. Yeah. I'm glad the Remire Village situation got sorted out, but it's not over yet, is it? And I can't believe Old Tomas turned out to be an enemy. Who can you trust anymore? Right, right. Who knows who you can trust? Everyone's an enemy. Oh. 
Someone entered the old chapel. I think the townsfolk used it for feasts and such in the past. With that whole Tomas business, you can't blame the church for being on edge. Oh, yep, Adam. So, Tomas the librarian was a bad guy? But he always seemed so nice. Oh, come on, self, you're better than this. You promised you'd be on top of things this month. For the most part, yes. Come now. Another month full of chaos. I barely had time to catch my breath. What is the objective of Tomas and his ilk? And what makes Flame so special? Does that not bother you? It kind of actually it, it does. Professor. Aha! Found you. You're always nosing around places, aren't you, Professor? Can be real hard to find you sometimes. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. No worrying about it. I just wanted to talk to you about a thing today. Do you remember how Lady Rhea asked you to come to the office this evening? Well, she told me that I should come to let you know that today's a bad day for doing that, and you should go and see her tomorrow instead. That's pretty much everything I needed to say, I think. Oh, except to ask you if you've seen Sedith around anywhere. I haven't, sorry. Okay, I'm supposed to tell Sedith the thing Lady Rhea told me to tell you, but he's hard to find. Wanna look for him together? No, it's alright, thanks. But if you see him, then please find me and tell me where you saw him, okay? Because then I'll know where he is and I can tell him. I'll be in the stables if you need me. Gotta put out the fodder before it's the next kid's shift. Don't want her thinking I left my work for her to do. Oh, but if I'm not in the stables and you need to find me, I'll be at the forest up north because there's a bunch of logs lying around up there. I figure I ought to chop them up or else someone might trip on a log or we might run out of firewood. And if I chop, then it'll save other people time. If it looks like I'm done there, then the quarters need to be sweeped. So if you see Sedith and you need to find me, then I might be there. Can I help you with anything? Nope, this is my job. I'm not giving it to anyone else because it's mine and I'm gonna do it. Besides, if you help me out, Lady Rhea might give me an earful. I don't know why, but Lady Rhea sure does seem to like you. She's always worried about what you might be doing or not doing. Is that so? Oh yeah, not that it's any of my business. Anyways, Lady Rhea asked me to do some jobs, so I'm doing them all. Even some she didn't ask for, but I know need doing, so I'm doing them. End of story. And remember, this guy if you see like, Sedith the round, come find me and tell me where you them. saw him, yeah? Yep. Huh? But I just told you where I'd be. If I'm not in the stables, I'll be at the forest. If I'm not, oh, I see. You're right, I'm all over the place, huh? I don't want to waste your time, Professor, so if you see Sedith, how about you tell him I was looking for him, and then tell him all the places I'll be? Then he can spend his time looking for me instead of you. Yeah! That sounds like a good plan. <laughs> a real good plan. Let's do that. See you later, Professor. Oh, this is, good... this is getting good, chat. <sighs> There's a certain gentleman I'd like to invite to a rendezvous at the Goddess Tower. However, I can't imagine he'd be interested in a sheltered ingenue like myself. It's hard to pluck up the courage when that's where my thoughts always take me. I wonder if that's the girl he, the, the other guy was talking about. Hey. Even though there is to be a ball, we still have a mission. It would be nice if this month passed by in peace. It seems the dastards who set Ramire village aflame have yet to be apprehended. Yep. The monsters. Trampling mercilessly over innocent lives. They deserve a gruesome end.
Not what I was expecting him to say. Carving hammer. Oh. Ah, the ball. It reminds me of my first such event back in the Imperial capital. It was held by my father, the Prime Minister. I really showed off my dancing skills. Everyone was quite impressed with me. Dancing a Fodlin is not the same as dancing from Bridget. The reason is... Maybe that the music has many differences. In Bridget, dancing is different for each person. Our dancing has vigor and ferocity. There is no speech of technique for our dancing. Training has given me great b but... Uh-huh. Hey, uh. Oh, hey, Catherine. The area with the old chapel was supposed to be off limits. It was yep. at risk of collapse, so they didn't even post guards. It's not too strange. Does that surprise you? Meh. Garrick Mock has lots of places that are blocked off for one reason or another. That's true of the underground Holy Mausoleum as well as the Northern Woods. People call it the Sealed Forest, but as far as I can tell, it's nothing special. Just a forest. Huh. What? Hey. Oh, we're in the dining hall. This is a rare opportunity to enjoy yourself. Please, leave everything else to us. The Remeyer Village incident, the search for Tomas, we have it handled. You just focus on enjoying the ball with your students. It's for the good of everyone. Don't you think? If the professors walk around in a state of distress, the students will be uneasy too. Oh, our life in Ramire Village is gone. Father and mother, gone. Why couldn't you have arrived just a little sooner? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't make me feel sad. I was already feeling sad, sad anyways. I wonder if Remire Village will ever be the same again. How do you recover from such a terrible event? I have so many I've... dead, so much destroyed. I can't see how the whole village doesn't just end up abandoned. Finally, an opportunity to showcase my exquisite skills on the dance floor. These skills were ingrained in me when I was a boy. My hands and feet move on pure instinct. Everybody stay away from this guy. He's gonna step all over your feet. It's true that Tomas was employed here under the recommendation of House Ordelia. But that's all I know of the topic. I never even seen him prior to enrolling here. Even when he was supposedly in Ordelia territory, I never once saw him there. I'm still feeling bothered by all of this, but there's not much else I can say about it right now. Ah. Huh. All right. Some scary things have been happening lately. I hope that this month of all months is peaceful. The ball is coming up and everything. Although I'm not much of a dancer, actually. And eh, neither am I. I'm still gonna go. Mild stomach poison. The schemer. Uh. What? It's almost time for the ball. Oh my, am I excited! This being a school, we don't have many chances to get dressy. Oh, there you go. Promoting Manuel. Hi there. 
Legend has it that long ago, a female student from the Academy met with a mysterious man at the Goddess Tower. They fell in love at first sight and were bound together forever after. But that's not the really interesting part. The incredible part is that the man was apparently the Adrestian Emperor himself. Oh, what I wouldn't give to fall in love at first sight with a splendid and powerful gentleman. I want my own fairy tale romance and I want it now. I want it now. Oh my. <laughs> Everyone's in such a festive mood. <laughs> I feel a bit out of my element here. I can't help but worry something might happen while we're all distracted. After all, our enemies are always plotting. Still, this air of levity is much more agreeable than the grim atmosphere of late. Yeah, true, true, true. That still doesn't mean you can't try and enjoy yourselves. As for me, I'm gonna do my best to enjoy myself. Hey. What's this about? The ball. Knights don't participate. It's an event for students, but it does pique the interest of some knights in particular. Are you hinting at something there, Jameer? Huh? Are you hinting at something? <sighs> Too much merriment. The librarian betrayed us. The Death Knight is back. Is this the time to be throwing a ball? Huh. Better than ever, really, actually. Took a little oh, bit. No. Like, uh... What happened in Ramire was indescribable. The whole village burned to the ground. So many were left without even a home to return to. Thankfully, Her Grace the Archbishop has invited those who lost everything to stay at Garrig Mach. I pray that they will be able to return to their once peaceful lives as soon as possible. Until that day, yeah, we of the church must join together and do all that we can to help them rebuild. Um, the ball? Um, I don't think I'll partake. Oh, poor girl. Hello, Professor. Oh wait, the hold ball on. Will soon I be better... upon us. I have never danced in front of people before. Not even once in all my life. I am very much looking forward to it. Oh, there you go. There's one more person around the... Yeah, Ash. <laughs> Last month was... Well, you know even better than I do. I hope this one will be more cheerful. This ball, though... I don't know. It, it's all new to me. Oh, Last month, this ball. Huh? You're. I'm really flat. Lance. Okay. Open up. You. Origins of freshwater fish. It delves into the many different schools of thought surrounding the subject. Oh, there's a book. Oh, not the right room anyway. What's in here? Rigid techniques. Book of tradition, time honored 
woodworking. Oh! But me. Okay. Oop. Wrong, wrong button. Ah, there he is. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay then. Oh, I suppose 